Looking at these forks on the top here, look what you've got. You've got preload adjustment there, you've got rebound damping, and down the bottom, you've got compression damping adjustment. Confused? You won't be, I hope. Well, first thing off, I'm going to put this leg down because it's pretty heavy and we don't actually need it. I'll just put it there because this one I've pre dismantled for you. So let's have a look at the component parts. If I unscrew this top bit here, inside that big beefy stanchion, we've actually got the cartridge fork assembly itself, if I hold that bit steady. So there we've got it all, all complete. There's the spring. This is the damper tube itself. And up here, you've got your preload adjuster there, your rebound damping, and the compression damping is actually done through that screw there, which controls an oil flow, which actually goes through there. So in effect, your oil is controlled in there to do all the damping. That rebound screw, as you screw it down, operates a, a needle valve that runs down the center there, so that controls the rebound part, but that's where the bulk of the oil is. There's oil in here as well, but that's mainly for lubrication. You can see, if I was to hold this top cap still, as it would be when it's clamped in the top of the forks, and adjusted this one here in the middle, you can see the rings down here, which actually tell you how far you've screwed that down. These aren't threads, they're purely indicators, so you can count the number of turns that you've got showing there, how far you've preloaded that spring. So that's what that's for. I'll put that to one side there. What else have we got? There is your massive, beefy stanchion. See that? Look at that down there. Looks like a gun barrel, doesn't it? But massive, but very lightweight. And inside, beautiful chrome tube there with its bearings in there. This is the bit that's going to slide up and down. At the bottom here is the oil seal, which stops um, not only oil coming out, but actually stops dirt going in there. And there's a dust cover as well. So those are the main component parts of your front forks.